Uh, next few last two topics. <clears throat> so let's do Keith D getting arrested uh, for the Tupac murder. Twenty twenty seven years later, he's been talking reckless for like you know ten years or wait who? thirteen. Keith D. When did Keith D. They got arrested? Yeah, yeah, Keith D. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, what you think about that? Him getting arrested twenty seven years later from a Tupac murder. Hold him on, let me reckless. let me respond to Naughty real quick. Let me go ahead and respond to him. Naughty, bro, I report, bro. You have to understand this is the internet and I report what other bloggers are saying. Nothing I say is what I feel about an individual. Nothing I say is what I'll say is facts. Nothing I say is none of that. If I see comments saying this, I'm reporting what the comments is saying. If I see a blogger saying this, what all the blogs is saying, I'm reporting what all the blogs is saying. We got to make that disclaimer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got to make that disclaimer. Because I feel him, you know, because because I know what you're saying, but a lot of times you got to make that disclaimer because it does it, feel like you're it, talking from that perspective. Multiple, it's multiple sides. I don't, I don't, I don't did everything. I don't said, I don't said the Dolph side. If you look at all the content I do, everybody, I do both sides. I say the side that I don't roast it, young boy. I done, I done been on Young Boy. Oh, side. yeah, you've been on Young Boy mo more than, than like going in on him more than so you and taking up And on that's him. because I see what both sides is saying. It's it's getting both both fan bases, the side that's against and the side that's for him. So it's the side that's against Young Boy. It's the side that's that is for Young Boy. You say you speak on both and you get both. Both sides flooding your way. That's how that works. So when I speak. Take it with a grain of salt and take it as he's just reporting. Yeah, Jay Fizzle did do what he was supposed to do, though. That's true. Exactly. Yeah, they, exactly. They, they, that's, that's his exactly blood cousin. Yeah. That's his blood cousin. He it's got supposed to, to be Facts, effing. Naughty. Yeah. Dolph is his blood cousin. Got so he, that's what he's supposed to do. He did, yeah. Straight drop did what he's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's, yeah, let's get into yeah. it. We got um, Keith D. Yeah, Look. Keith D arrested for Tupac murder 20, 27 years later. Look, I'm going to keep it a book. Since when have we ever cared about police justice, bro? Why would we care that Tupac... Maybe the old heads probably cared about Tupac. I do. I still do. Tupac man getting arrested. But, bro, we, won, we ain't care about that for real. Tupac been gone for a long time, bro. 27 years is ridiculous. 27 have, years is ridiculous. To have, like, the biggest rap, one of the you know biggest rappers ever to finally get justice like and then biggie's people still i think roaming around we we we, we ain't we that's ain't, another story though that that's one of them that's one of them we ain't care about none of that i'll write him i'll write him get knocked and then then go to jail he finna he finna live rent free you know what i'm saying he probably didn't he done lived his life he mess around and get out too on a bond or something who knows so with Keefe D going to jail. This is what I be telling y'all. Vlad is the police. Bro. That's what, exactly. That's what not, we was talking about yesterday. Vlad and I seen, got him gone. And I seen a post that said, I seen a post that said, uh, the police, the the FBI reported to Vlad to get him to cooperate, but Vlad refused to cooperate. Bro, Vlad, shut up. We don't we don't want we don't care why that you putting that out so people know, bro. You already done got the man to confess. You have a natural interrogation ability. You done already got the man to confess and tell on himself. That's the second time I done seen somebody go down off of you. AR app went down off of some stuff he said on your interview. Now we got Keefy D going down. Wasn't AR Ab uh, beefing with Meek Mill? If I'm going off the logic of the Vlad TV against us, if I'm going off of the people who, if I'm going off the street people, bro, we don't want no, we don't want no justice. We don't want no police since when we, since when somebody died and we say, yo, we want the police to pick them up. Yo, we want, we want, we want justice. Since when we kill people and want, and, and want, want justice against us. Bro, Tupac played. He reached for he reached for some. Why why you reaching, bro? Why you running off and punching people? Tupac isn't a victim. Shoot. He's a victim. 
it, Suge Knight was the was the main culprit in me. That's the battery because he got him out of jail and he was like, "You got to do this now because I got you up out of jail. I got you out of there. You, you, it's death row to the death." Hey. And, then, and then, oh, dude, it was because the dude that they that they got was because he took the death row chain, and they was like, "Hey, you know what you." You know what I'm saying? The people's with him. They had to do that. Suge necessarily wasn't there, but then people, he already know what what time it was. So then at that point, that battery was in his back. He had no choice. Hey. He had to stand up. If not, and then, you know what I'm saying? It was, man, we ain't trying to hear no battery in your back for a 25-year-old, man. Come on, bro. Still young at that time. Man, it's 25 years old, bro. Don't let no... that. Okay, so you got extorted, nigga. You, so, nigga, you got extorted. You wasn't a gangster. You wasn't tough. Nigga, you got extorted. You let a nigga tell you doing this or, 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 it's, or it's death. Nigga, you supposed to stand on that business like, nah, we ain't doing shit. But you did it, though. You got extorted, bro. That, and so, and then you gonna go, I wish a nigga would come run down on me, punch me up with it, with all his homies, and then, then he get took care of. Ain't nobody running up on nobody in this room and just think you finna punch on them and... No, that's not happening. You gonna die right there where so you So Shug was there and he kicked Orlando, okay. See, it hit different, too. Because he yeah. also, because you got to think about that. That show, on top of that, it's, it's a weird weird situation with him. And I, and I know I'm sounding biased because I'm a Pac fan, but Pac was wrong. I'm, I'm totally with it. But the thing is, that's your label head. He spent two M's. That's your label head. That's, that's your guy that, that's over death row. Nah, bro. But listen, nah. he doing that. <laughs> spent two M's to get you up out of jail. No, I don't care. You're going to have to do that to me. You're not telling me what I'm doing. I don't owe you to do this because you got me out of jail. Yeah, if you saying, yo, do this, and it's it makes sense to me, it's the right thing to do, yeah, we could do that. But if I feel like, yeah, you gave me this money, if I feel like you gave me, see, what happened to Tupac is this is the, this is kind of. Same kind of, Mo3 was running wild. See. No, I'm chasing finna, people. I'm finna take it way left. I'm finna take it way left. That artist Mo Bad in Africa that died, his label tried to shug night him. Like, no, this what you doing. He said, no, I'm out. But you gonna pass anyway. So it's like, well, I feel you. You gotta stand on 10 and death die. Bef death before dishonor. Yeah, die, die you gotta do that him. to me. You gotta kill me. I'm gonna die about it. You got to. Yeah, you help me out, but you not finna steer me in the wrong direction. You not finna use your what you said. That mean what you did wasn't genuine anyway. So I, I don't need oh, to you be know around what you. Genuine for sure, not just, especially from Shug. He so, should have known. So once I see that you help me out, but it ain't genuine. It ain't leading me into the right, right thing. Okay, well I gotta separate Back from stoner. you. I'm the artist. I'm the star, motherfucker. I can go get a, a a million dollar deal from anybody. That's the sad part. But nobody else would get him out, but mm -hmm. Shug. But he already did it though. You already got me out of jail. I'm out. So now that I'm out, what I'm finna do? Go get this million dollar deal from them. Oh, he could have went anywhere. Now I got them M's. Play with me. You ain't got me on your label no more. Once Tupac leave, everybody would have left after Tupac. Once two, if Tupac would have stood on business and was like, yo, nah, I ain't finna be extorted. I'm leaving. I'm going to drop that bag off, though, if you play with me. Go ahead and play with me. It's plenty of people. And, and, and Tupac, one of them individuals, had he would have made that move and just left instead of letting them extort him. That's facts. I'll give you that one. He would have made that. It would have been even most stand-up individuals behind him like, damn, this nigga a gangster. This nigga don't care. This nigga left. This nigga know what come behind Suge Knight. This nigga know what type of what type of rep he got. What he 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 decides to go against that? Oh yeah, we 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 definitely see him as a gangster now. We definitely see him as somebody we could respect and go behind. Yeah, we oh yeah, we're gonna die behind this. He could have easily went that route and not had nothing to do with Suge Knight. So either way, it was gonna be it was gonna be either way it was gonna be shit. Somebody had to die. Cause it looked like the way Suge Knight was going, somebody had to die. I already know it's not even the right way to go, but R.I.P. Pog, man. What's good, y'all? It's TJ the DJ. And this is Jet. Hey, man. Thanks for checking out this clip. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.